Drew, welcome back to town. Uh, big <laughs> night. Uh, another opening night for you. You're all. You're yeah. ready. I'm ready to go. Set to go. That might retain hand hour button. But I noticed the button. Though. Let's go to the button first because yeah. that, that pops right out at me there. Yeah. I want to. This is the voting year. So it's our fourth year. And we've been saying since the beginning that every four years the fans, the season ticket holders, will be able to get to vote on whether you want to keep the general manager or not. So this is the first year we're going to ever have a vote. At the end of the, it's going to be at the end of the season. Yep. So I'm starting my campaign early <laughs> to retain Hanauer. That's who I'm supporting, that we keep him as general manager. Uh, and uh, the, the good news is, a lot of good news, there's been a lot of good things that have happened under, under Adrian's Yeah, I think direction. he's had a really good, if you look at his total record, no matter how the season comes out, he's done really well for the team. You know, ha having to put together that first-year team from scratch yep. and how the team, the, what the attitude of the team was going to be, the, the, you know, our, all our philosophies of play, that was all Adrian, you know, and the team he picked, sure, sure. you know, to help guide him in his decisions. But, you know, he had to put that whole team together and uh, come up with all that stuff. So he's, like, to me, he's the man. Like, if you, if you want to really, like, point to somebody for all our on-field success... It's Adrian Hanna. Sure. So if you meet with fans, meet with the council, that, that's your pitch, basically. Yeah. Adrian, you got to keep Adrian for another yeah. four years. Okay. Good. Yeah. good. Simple. Very simple. And there's no other, there's no like nine other guys in a primary somewhere that might take no, the yeah. spot. Well, you know, so. the, you can only vote a guy out. We can, we hire everybody. And we can, yeah. fi we could also, like, in the future, any general manager, we can yeah. also, we can also go, like, hey, this guy isn't working out and get rid of him. Uh, but, we can get rid of anybody we want. It's just like a regular business, but the sure. fans always, the season ticket holders always have that in their back pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if they don't like our decisions, they can go, whoa, 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 get rid of that guy. Well, that was your idea, right, yeah. going in, so. Yeah, and it's a really good, it's a good safety net for the season ticket holders. Sure. Like if things start to go south, like it's not gonna happen this year, I don't think. I think Adrian's gonna come back. But, um, you know, I think in the future, I'm thinking like, you know, 20 years, 30 yeah. years, something, like yeah. something's gonna happen when Joe Roth is dead and gone, I'm dead and gone. <laughs> And the Jeez. team is still around, you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. going to happen because, you know, there's, you know, look at baseball team's been around forever. Yeah, yeah. That's what's going to happen with the MLS. It's yeah. going to be a long, around for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is going to be a good system to protect the fans from any kind of, like, bad decisions no made doubt. at the top. I mean, what yeah. if the L.A. Dodgers had this? Uh, this every every team should have it. You know, there you go. I did uh, a thing in Boston. It was called the uh, MIT Sloan Sports analytics conference sounds really wonky but it's all mit M mba candidates yeah uh mit sloan is a business school and they had a thing about sports analytics and all the numbers behind sports all the stats and it was uh, a bunch of sports nerds there and i talked about this and they just went crazy they thought it was the best idea <laughs> mba writers are really happy about it and i hope it spreads like wildfire Oh, yeah, yeah, that would be good. Uh, we get a couple okay. votes under our belt, and people see how it goes, that it's safe. It'll be fine. So on the eve of, of, uh, of Season 4, a couple of big changes, obviously, in the offseason. One in goal, a yeah. couple of defenders come and go, some new guys up front, So a lot, and, and some bigger, faster people in certain positions yeah. on this team. Are you concerned about the biggest change, which is Casey out, Michael in? Uh, uh, no. I think Michael has, I think he has a really good, you know, good pedigree. You know, he's... Uh, Seems really good, and you know, time will tell. Yeah, I yeah. think he's great. You know, I mean, I don't think we, you know, it's not like we stood pat and didn't right, right. Try. Yeah. I think we got a really good guy. Oh no, I think yeah. yeah. So I'm pretty, I'm confident about the goalkeeper. Of course, I mean, you know, there's only one Casey Keller, like the chant goes. Right, right, right. Uh, but uh, you know, it's Casey Keller. He's only, he's only a man. You know, he's like he can't play forever. No, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, although, you know, there are... On there Xbox, are. you can have Casey Keller all the time. It doesn't matter. <laughs> he's 100 Xbox, old. he never gets old. Yeah, he never goes... He never thinks of his family. God, he, never, he never says goodbye to his wife and off, to, off on another road trip. <laughs> so, you know, that never happens to your Xbox, Casey Keller, but this is a human being we're talking about, yeah. and, you know, yeah, a little after a while. Deal. You only take so many cracked ribs. Do you get asked? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No. So as, as a fan, as an owner, but also a fan, do you, do you ever get sort of emotionally attached to... To all a the time. player, and then, and then he's gone, and then yes. you have to kind of readjust. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. I mean, even in, like, you know, I'm in show business, so. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah that, that's true. That happens all the time, you know. We've had, like, prices Right models that we don't use anymore that I really yeah. liked, and, you know, uh, Rich Fields, the Price Right announcer, I was, like, really good friends of his, and they, yeah. you know, yeah. we got a new announcer now, and that's, you know, cast changes everywhere. Like, people that even come in, like that are only on the cast for a year and you know they're, oh they're only here this one year and you get really attached to them and then they're gone yeah, yeah. You're like eh. or you do a play with somebody and sure. it lasts for a few months and you're like oh you're best friends and then they're 
on doing stand up, same thing. You know, you work with a guy over and over again, but not all the time. And then one day you're moving on. It, it's part of my life ever since I've been a professional. But the it, it's, it's to, not. It's you know you have to get used to it. It is. It's uh, it's it's emotionally tough. But but in sports, you continue with the passion because it's the team. It's the it's the colors. It's the yeah. logo. It's the yeah, and it's, it's all about the it's all about the the greater good of the whole. Yeah. yeah. You know which is, you know, you have to kind of keep your eye on the prize that way and go, you know, it's not just an individual, it's about the team. Yep. And, uh, you know, that's every decision you make. That's, you know, front office, management, players, you know, ticket taker, like everything is about how, you know, the team, the fan experience. And, uh, you know, you have, you have to keep your mind on the big picture. Sure. That's for sure. What about a goal for this season? Number one goal for you for this Championship. season? MLS, MLS Cup, okay. yeah, that's the number one goal. Okay, all right. And uh, I'd like to win the Cup a fourth time, but I'd sacrifice that to win an MLS that's championship. That's what I was going to ask, if you had to choose between yeah. the two. If I had to choose between anything, I'd, I'll take an MLS championship. Yeah, yep. Um, is it, is it uh, are we thinking realistically with that one, in your opinion? Yeah, you know, L.A. is not that Like, L.A. was the only, honestly, I think right now, Season just started, but I, so I mean, I'll tell you better at midseason, but right yeah. now, LA is really the only team standing in our way, and I don't think they're that good. I mean, I know on paper they're good, yeah, but yeah. they have a lot of problems that we don't have, and uh, I think we're going to be better, you know, on the field. And uh, I think honestly, we're the team to beat this year. Let me, uh, a couple more questions, Drew, and uh, again, it's great to see you. We'll, we'll, the buttons are cool, by the way. This is Thank your you. deal. You, you designed I have a these. Friend, I had a prop guy. I know in LA well, make, no, make them for me. I only have a few. Room. I had a couple dozen made. <laughs> we'll be selling them at the pro shop so probably you're, you're, <laughs> by the end of the season. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, busy guy. You got the uh, great career going, making lots of people laugh for a long, long time, and making lots of people happy. Uh, and the price is right as well. But how much of your time, 24 hours a day, is consumed by thinking about the Sounders? <laughs> uh, oh, I'm, it's you. I'm, honestly, um, most of my days about the price is right. You know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. by three days a week that I work. Right, and then when the right. price is right, I was over, I forget about it. And uh, that's really like Adrian's problem, 24 <laughs> hours a day about the Sounders. That's why you want him for another four years. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm down in L.A. You don't want me, you know. I'm the last guy you want to have thinking 24 hours about the Sounders because I'll, you know. That you want Adrian or somebody knows what they're doing. So that want Adrian and Chris. We end just the way we started. There we go. With, uh, bring Adrian back. Four more years. Yeah, four more years. Yeah. I can hear the chant today. They won't, they won't be chanting that tonight, though, you don't think? We'll they they might. Who knows? You never know. I'll have to talk to the ECS, see if they make up a four more years. Uh, there's only one Adrian Hanauer. <laughs> there's only one Adrian Hanauer. <laughs> that kind of works. <laughs> it does work. Drew, right. thank you. Welcome Thanks, again. See you, everybody.